My name is Brandon Watts. I'm the marketing director at Switch Vehicles. We're located in Sebastopol, California. And what you're looking at today is the Switch Lab EV. It's the vehicle for education that high schoolers and college students around the country get to build from the ground up. It's a 96 volt lithium ion vehicle with 32 cells. We got safety elements like the manual service disconnect. And then we also use the cycle analyst from Gren, who is here today, and we really appreciate them stopping by. We've been using their cycle analyst for the last 10 years. It's been a great addition to our vehicles. It allows students to understand the speed and the voltage of the vehicle at all times. Um, this is an Orion 2.0 BMS up front um, with our uh, onboard charger. We have a J1172 charging socket, which was standard, but we're moving to the Knox as that is now in development. The motor we use is the Hyper 9 motor with the SME X1 motor controller down there in our control box. And as you can see, all of our components, are, all of our wiring is labeled, color-coded, and terminated for students because this is a really big project. And as you can see, that's kind of where they start over there on that vehicle. And as they build it up, it comes out to the finished product you're seeing here. Let me turn it on real quick. And as you can see, the cyclinus pops on. It'll give a readout for your pack voltage, which runs through the CAN bus system up front. We use DIN rails for ease of use. As you can see, these are what DIN, DIN rails are. They have jumpers that connect uh, certain components at all times. We use generic relays just to get students familiar with the basics of electricity um, before they go on to work at Tesla, Rivian. This is the jumping off point. Um, and it's a really exciting project because you get to drive what you built in class. Not very often you get to drive a street legal vehicle that you built in your high school class. And so it's something that's really exciting for us to do and offer. Um, and we're over 400 schools around the country and we're doing pretty well. We've worked with the University of Michigan. We've worked with Schoolcraft College. We've worked with high schools, middle schools. Whoever wants to build a vehicle to teach their students the basics of automotive technology, high voltage safety. This is our theory, this is our method. We're all hands-on, all project-based learning. We believe that you should be 25% theory, 75%, let's apply that theory. And it does regenerative braking, so you get to like really dive into the deeper concepts. Same with the CAN bus, BMS system, the motor controller. You're gonna get deeper than you normally would with like a trainer on a tabletop, or if you're doing like a lab or just reading a textbook. This gives students the experience to feel what they're actually doing and the effects they have when they do the programming. Um, regenerative braking can feel horrible or it can feel really smooth. And so that's one of our challenges and lessons. All right, sweet, that's enough talking about the Switch Lab EV. Let's go take it for a ride real quick. The Switch Lab is a 7.4 kilowatt hour battery using lithium iron phosphate uh, batteries, like I mentioned before. It's got about 50 miles of range, depending on how, drive, how you drive it, if you're aggressive or if you have regen on high. It's got a max speed of about 85 miles per hour, um, which is real quick, but we want students to be able to build something that's fun and exciting, especially for the teachers. Um, the teachers really like to take it to drag strips and really have a lot of fun with it. It does come with Volkswagen suspension, it's the trailing arms on the right and left down there. So I've never driven an electric car before and I think it's pretty cool to drive something that teaches people how to build electric cars and I'm really excited to jump in but I don't know how it works so you're going to have to tell me how it works Brandon. So you're going to jump yep. in. Okay. In there with you. I'm going to put my seatbelt on because I do not trust myself. Yep. The seatbelt doesn't yep, want to protect very, me. It is very sensitive for the kiddos. Nice. Okay. Very Seems slow. slow. <laughs> gotcha. There you go. Whew. All right, so down is forward. My heart's beating. Um, down yeah. down is pull, forward. Yeah, pull the toggle down. Okay, it's kind of hard to reach. I you get a sticky finger in there. Yeah. And then that's like a cut off everything, that's the shut off everything. Disconnect. So both brakes, and you probably want to use the front brakes more front than the brakes, rear. Yeah, the yeah, rear yeah, brakes yeah, yeah, for like yeah. parking brake. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay, so now it's ready to go. I've switched it on, and now we just we just go. Okay. There you go. Okay. Looking in the mirrors here. <laughs> Yeah, so it's nice. got mirrors, it's a motorcycle technical. Whoa. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Should I feel bad I'm in the bike lane? Probably don't want to be there. 
And then I want to test the brakes, so. There you go, yeah. Yeah, and then and want our all, full braking, yep, okay. Those are all. <laughs> <laughs> you smacked yourself with the camera, right? Okay, so it's it's really simple. Okay, it's a very, and it shows. Very simple design. And it shows. Uh, oh, so the steering. It's not power steering. It's not power steering. It's not power steering. You can see the cycle analysts is showing your voltage and how much you're drawing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is this is like 500 watts right now, 600 watts. Not yeah. much. Yeah, not much. That's crazy, cause our e-bikes they can do 2,000 watts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, impressive. The motor is so efficient; it doesn't need as many watts. Motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which way should I go? Should I go this way or straight? Go straight? Yeah, I guess. Okay, right. there's there's a turn signal. signal. Yep. Turn nice, signal. Nice, I got the turn signal going. Yeah, I'm trying not to uh, piss anybody off yeah. in the neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, it's weird not having power steering, but yeah, right. yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you gotta use your muscles. Yep, and the brakes are all are, uh, just pressure brakes, so yeah. it's literally your foot pounds. Yeah, cool, cool. I'm uh, really enjoying it. It's really basic. Still got my signal on. <laughs> so it's road legal. Yes. You could not like highway though. Yes, it's, street it's legal highway. As a motorcycle. And you said it goes 80 miles per hour, yep. which is like 85. 140 kilometers an hour yep. potentially. So you could drive this thing from here to San Francisco. Would it last? 50 miles. If you're going downhill, you can probably get like 70 miles for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So has, has what's the furthest someone's driven one of these things? I've, I've gotten it to 55 miles. Okay. And it was at about 5%. I crawled to the end. Did you ever get pulled over by the cops? Uh, I have not been pulled over, but I have been yelled at for burnouts. <laughs> okay. You've been yelled at for, for burnouts, burnouts from the cops. Yep. Okay. On public roads. They don't really like when you have a name the public roads. Yeah! Okay, I gotta remember that these are these are not high-tech brakes. Yes. Cool. Alright, so now we're gonna pull back into switch. I can beat these guys. Yeah, you can beat them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. And is it up here or next one? Next one. Next one, okay. Nice. So, how does it sound if you guys try our e-bikes? Because it sounds like you guys uh, don't have. A, like you we, haven't yeah. tried a ton of e-bikes before. We need then. To do some e-bikes. Okay. Well, let's do that. Should I pull in forward or back? Yeah. yeah forward. Forward's fine. Okay. okay. Yeah, do you mind right. if I take this out to the coast? <laughs> and then. Parking brake. Hello. We did it. Very very old school. I survived. I was I was a little sketched out at first, but. Okay, right, right. Brandon. I really want you to come try the e-bikes. Uh, no cycle analysts on board, though. No, we're using these more modern displays because that's what people want. You got right. the fancy stuff now? Yeah, I've got the folding bike that has our air travel batteries. And then this is our main test bike, which is the all axle slow wind. And then this is the fat. Oh, this is the off-roader. The fat, yeah, I took this to the Oregon Dunes. It was a really good time. Whoops. And uh, yeah, this one has also a fat all axle. The Max 45 is what we call it. But basically this one's uh, running 1800 watts and that one's about a thousand watts. You can, you can set them up however you like. But oh, so it's configurable. Yeah, it's configurable, exactly. So any, any one of you guys want to try this out? Yeah, uh, you'll be fine. Okay, so this one I just want to say forward for regen and throttle. Whoop. It's on my left. Oh, oh, this. Oh, that's the throttle. Oh, holy crap. The throttle in the region. So like this, the number here is the torque mode. So yeah, exactly. How much torque sensing you get. 